Greetings friends, it's Alexor again, and <laughs> um, it's been a little bit of an issue recently with Last Epoch, hasn't it? Nobody's really playing it. If we're being honest, if we look at the charts, currently it's sitting at 2,899 players, and it was even, like right now, it's even less than that, under 2k players currently in Last Epoch. If we compare it to the max, it was 264,000 that was on 1.0 launch, that was in February. And when 1.0 launched, 264,000 people were playing and now we're under 2k, that means it lost over 99% of its player base in the last 4 months-ish. Yeah, 4 months-ish. And people are asking, like I get this all the time when I stream or even in the videos, isn't this game dead? Also, Twitch stats, by the way, interesting. 65 viewers right now. 24 hour peak, 400. All time peak, 260. So, obviously, this begs the question is the game fucking dead? Is it over? And, no. <laughs> it, was even, it was even asked, one of the devs was asked if they are concerned about the fact that nobody's playing the game right now. And because the next season is coming soon, right? Cycle 2, 1.1. Is coming in about three weeks ish and there is even some leaks already happening some teasers but the player count is still going down and this is why people are wondering and I, I, I totally understand this right um, nobody's streaming the game nobody's playing it everyone thinks it's dead and even the dev said yeah this is a concern of course we pushed the, the new cycle out further than we wanted but there is, of course, a concern if the game is dead. Now, I mean, we said it before many times, but I want to bring it back again. ARPGs like Last Epoch, Diablo 4, Perfect they are seasonal. And if we look at the Google Trends, we see over here, blue is Last Epoch, red is Diablo 4, and yellow is Perfect Now You can see Last Epoch doesn't have much because it was mostly... This was again when it launched and then it went out down again. But what you will see is Diablo 4. There is always an up and down and goes up again, then it goes down again, and goes a little bit up, down, it goes up again, then it goes down again, then it goes up again, goes down again. This was roughly when I think the new expansion was released. I uh, not released, um, announced. And now this is um, also uh, actually about here. Yeah, no, no, this is actually season four about here. And then also a new expansion really um, announced, these kinds of things. This sort of brings the people back. Now if you remove Diablo, so actually it's a bit better to see and it's only Path Exile. Same here, it goes up again, new season, then it goes down again, new season goes up again, goes down again, new season goes up again. This was Necropolis, I believe. Yeah, roughly. Um, and then it goes down again, it goes up again. That's just how ARPGs are. People come when there is a new season, they play the new content, they may even play a different character from last season or whatever. Uh, maybe make a new one, try a different class, try a different mastery. And then it sort of flats out again because all the content is played. And then they go back to playing whatever the current game is right now. And the devs for Last Epoch even said, planning the new season is tough because you sort of have to plan what all the other games are bringing out. Uh, for season and you tr try to want to find a spot where nothing is happening it's another reason why actually last epoch was postponed so long uh, like the, the next season because in july there is nothing new coming season four for diablo is fading out there is no perfect Exile season perfect Exile 2 is coming later this year at some point the expansion for diablo 4 is coming later this year so in july 9th when the next season for last epoch launches there is nothing else really, no other ARPG you could play. This is perfect. And this means the game is not dead. Even though it lost over 99% of its player base right now, once the new cycle comes around, this will go up again. A lot. This is You can even compare this whole thing to Bitcoin if you want. Because you have much more... Um, uh, fur, it goes further back if you want to look at this this way. Anytime Bitcoin goes down, people say it's dead, it's a scam, and it's bullshit and all that. And then, give it a few months, then it's back to new height. Maybe even higher than before and going through last records. 
Same thing might be happening here. We might all either go back to 260k, we might go to, to 300,000, we might even just go to 200,000. Whatever it is, it's just going to be a huge bump again to, for the next season, and then it will slowly fade out again. So the game is not dead at all, even though right now it is. And this is also the reason, even though I put... I can actually show you. I'm currently just exactly over 400 hours in the last epoch. Uh, I've been playing Diablo, uh, yeah, Diablo 4 recently a lot on stream as well. And this is because right now, last ebook is just a little bit stale. I know there are some guys out there who can do it, I can't. I'm just like you, you casual player. Um, when the season is over and it gets a little bit boring and stale, I just switch to another game. And this is also probably what I'll be doing going forward. Just playing the seasons and a little bit longer than the most casual players, I guess, and figuring out builds, trying then the next season for the next game. Except I won't do Path of Exile 1 because I suck at that game and it's for me too late to go in there. I will do Path of Exile 2. Until then, it's Last Epoch, DA4 and PoE2. But as I said, I don't want to beat around the bush any longer. Right now the game is dead. Somewhat, you could say. There's not even new patches coming, really. Nothing is happening right now. And this is also a sort of a thing I need to mention that Diablo 4 does better. There's lots of mid-season updates, right? Even if it's just new cosmetics, or if it's just a, a balance patch, a smaller one. Or maybe even not such a small one, just a balance patch in between the seasons. There's just more things happening that keep people in the game. Now you have to understand that Last Epoch is a new game and it's an indie game, right? It's not near a new game, it's in development or in beta for five years, but it's an indie game, right? It's a small company that's developing, developing the game. They just don't have the resources to do what Diablo 4 is doing. Like with constant updates all the time. So this is also an interesting chart, by the way, for this is Last Epoch, right? It went up again, then went a lot down, went up again, down, up again, down. But there was also patches that happened here, like uh, balance patches and all that, but it consistently went down. And Diablo, as you can tell, even with Diablo, there's constantly in an up and down phase, right? There's always an up and down, up and down, up and down. Even that can't, pe can't keep people around all the time, right? You see, it's currently on a pretty high, which is nice because season, season 4 is actually pretty good now. But it was always just up and down and keeping people low. So you cannot keep 200,000 players consistently in a game like this because it just gets stale at some point. And for a company like EHG that makes Last Epoch, it's even tougher because they just don't have the staff to consistently push out updates that much. So even though the game is great and has a lot of cool features, some even better than D4, I would argue. D4 does other things better. But even for that, it's actually doing quite well. And it's keeping up pretty well. So anyway, this is beating around the bush too much, I know. I just wanted to tell you, the game is not that. It will come back hard. Many of you will come back when the new season launches because there will be much more in the patch for sure than they're actually announcing. And I'll be playing it a lot and then once it sort of dies out again, we go back to D4. Or PoE2, whatever is the newest shit right now. Until then, this is also the key thing, it is totally fine. Totally fine to switch your ARPGs all the time. Like in a seasonal thing. It's totally fine to play D4 now because Ellie is pretty lame right now for you. That's totally fine. And if D4 gets stale, just play something else. It's totally cool. You don't have to religiously just play that one game. Same thing for streamers. And the streamers also do it themselves, right? So I will do this as well. And just want to say the game is not dead. Even though it looks like it right now. Anyway, I hope this helped. Tell me in the comments what you think of the whole seasonal thing. If this could be any different. If, this, if you could make this any different in some form, shape or form. And what would you do? But I personally think you can't really keep that many players around all the time. Just not a thing. So tell me your thoughts on Last Epoch. Do you truly think, believe it's dead? Is it too late for it to come back? Or are you ready for Cycle 2? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video.